1992, I was born. This is the same year Tupac recorded the song Changes. In the song, Tupac talks about his struggles for growing up, such as racism, police brutality, drugs, and gang violence. But there's one part of the song that stands out to me the most, and that's Tupac's reference to the possibility of a black president, which to him seemed just impossible, claiming, we ain't ready. They do change, Tupac, and in 2008, Barack Obama was announced the 44th president of the United States of America. Incredible. Finally, what a moment. Could you believe that? This video is to celebrate Barack Obama and the struggle of African Americans throughout the civil rights movement. And as Nelson Mandela said, no one is born hating another person because of the color of their skin or their background or their religion. People learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart. You can never whip these boys if you don't keep you and them separate. I found that out in Bunny. You've got to keep the white and the black separate. You know, just this week I was asked whether I thought the Department of Justice's Ferguson report shows that with respect to race, little has changed in this country. And I understood the question. The report's narrative was sadly familiar. It evoked the kind of abuse and disregard for citizens that spawned the civil rights movement. But I rejected the notion that nothing's changed. What happened in Ferguson may not be unique, but it's no longer endemic. It's no longer sanctioned by law or by custom. And before the civil rights movement, it most surely was. We do a disservice to the cause of justice by in intimating that bias and discrimination are immutable. The racial division is inherent in America. If you think nothing's changed in the past 50 years, ask somebody who lived through the Selma or Chicago or Los Angeles of the 1950s. To deny this progress, this hard-won progress, our progress, would be to rob us of our own agency, our own capacity, our responsibility to do what we can to make America better. We just need to open our eyes and our ears and our hearts to know that this nation's racial history still casts its long shadow upon us. We know the march is not yet over. We know the race is not yet won. We know that reaching that blessed destination where we are judged, all of us, by the content of our character, we can protect the foundation stone of our democracy for which so many marched across this bridge. We secure our rights and responsibilities to a system of self-government, of and by and for the people. That's why we argue and fight with so much passion and conviction, because we know our efforts matter. We know America is what we make of it. Look at our history. We're the immigrants who stowed away on ships to reach these shores. The huddled masses yearning to breathe free. We're the slaves who built the White House and the economy of the South. The countless laborers who laid rail and raised skyscrapers and organized for workers' rights. We are storytellers, writers, poets, artists who abhor unfairness and despise hypocrisy and give voice to the voiceless and tell truths that need to be told. Who are never tired so long as we can see far enough. That's what America is.